You have to figure out within yourself what you're willing to, to do outside of your comfort zone to get where you believe that you can go. Because just to put it simply, like I'm failing on YouTube. Failing on YouTube. Even on a bad day, I showed up. And that's why perspective is so important. Giving the world me. What's up guys? Today is Friday, July 19th, 2024. Um, it is 7.33 in the morning. And I have been up since maybe about 5.50. Um, getting myself, getting my mind right, you know. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys watched that, uh, uh, the Trump's um, speech last night. I thought it was really good, uh, seriously. I thought it was really good. I see a different demeanor from Trump, you know, after the assassination attempt. Um, and one thing that one thing that really, really struck me about the, the speech, it was just one thing that's kind of like sticking in my head. And when things stick in my head, I'm just saying them out on camera during these daily videos that I'm doing, right? Um, him and his wife, right? Talking about his wife and his wife wrote something to uh, the, the Republican Party and he goes down his the lineage a little bit of his family talking about his wife and his sons and his grandkids I think he has like 10 grandkids and not for nothing that's what I would want my legacy to be, you know? That's, the money is great, of course, but I always believe if you stay down and you have a vision, you work hard, you pivot when problems come and you never stop, you and you do what you are put on earth to do and you like it and love it, you'll make a lot of money. I think the problem is people want fast money, so they switch different things. Oh, I'm gonna do this today because I need money. I'm gonna do that tomorrow. I'm gonna do that tomorrow. I'm gonna do this next week. Next year, I'll be doing something completely different. I did that, um, but it was always based in things that I love to do, right? So I've done a lot of different things, but it was always, always based in things that I had a, a real interest in building. Right, I see people just saying, hey, this makes money, so I'm just going to do that. I don't think that's a good idea. But just going back to uh, Trump and his 10 grandkids, at 78, when your, your hero story is just about complete, that's what you want to harp on, right? Yeah, I've, I, I've made successful business but this legacy lives on through my sons, my daughters, and my grandkids. And Trump just loves Baron. Baron, you know, Baron is the youngest, the youngest uh, boy, uh, male Trump. He loves Baron because Baron is probably gonna be something special. You know, he knows that. And um, for me, that's what I looked at and I said, that's what I want. That's what I want. I know guys running around here, they just, they wanna do all of this dating and things like that. You will never see me doing any of that stuff because first thing is just waste time. It wastes time and I'm on a mission, right? Um, I'm setting and implementing a plan that is long-term 
that will get me ultimately that. That will cement the legacy that I envision by doing the things that is the road less traveled. So none of these people that are doing this dating, you know, dating bunch of women and all of that stuff, and their main focus is women, they're no competition to me at all. They could be more talented to me than me, but they're no competition because my ultimate focus and my ultimate path of where I'm getting, they don't have a clue. And that's, you know, that's the outlier that I choose to be. And I'm fine with just one woman. Just one. To submit that legacy. Because family is the most important thing. Family, business, health. I think health is first because you can't have, you know, health is first. But you can't have any in any of these things without health, family, business. And that's my outlook on what I took away from Trump and what he's doing and possibly becoming the, the next president of the United States and basically cementing his hero story. But it took from origin to hero and all of that shit in between. So this morning, I'm gonna do some boring work. So I just set the camera and um, yeah. And one thing that I like about doing these daily videos is I can get a, a gauge on where I'm at, right? As far as my demeanor, how I feel, I can get a grasp on that. Um, It's crazy because yesterday I said, you know, as an entrepreneur, you can't get too low, you can't get too high, you just gotta stay even kill. And today is, if it was one of those days that was gonna be either, it would be the lower. Because just to put it simply, like I'm failing on YouTube. Failing on YouTube. Um, my views are like under 20 views and it's like man I don't even know what to say that's like really my real reaction to it is just like, wow, like, and if 
course, YouTube takes time. YouTube takes effort. Not to mention we all want to be heard. Some of us want to be validated. And also, if you're monetized on YouTube, you want to make money. And I'm just like, man, is people not seeing the value? What's going on? 44 year old entrepreneur living in Colombia, building a startup, former pro basketball player. Um, several time business owner. Come from, from Buffalo, New York, like the ghettos. He's been in prison, been through a lot, still made it out. Made some, you know, made something out of myself, father, so many things that so many people I believe can relate to me on. And I really think if I was a white creator, I would be receiving much more, many more views. So when I look at like the difference between the white creators and the things that they're doing similar to like me, like I look at creators like Daniel Dallin, JT Barnett. I look at those guys from uh, Represent, George uh, Heaton. I look at uh, McKay. I look at the guys from um, Minton, New York, like just documenting their, their, their journey, building their business, doing the things that they're into, their interests and things like that. And they're getting an, uh, a real organic audience. But then when I look at, I don't really see a lot of black guys doing exactly what I'm doing. What I see in the back in the black realm of on YouTube is mostly about dating and women and whatever else is um, popular at the time, like hip hop shit, stuff like that. I don't see like a lot of guys is doing things like me that's like building. That's why I like the flip side of that is maybe I'll never get the audience that I'm looking for on YouTube, right? And that's why perspective is so important because I can look at this and be like, yo, damn, like, yo, I gave this every single day's uploads and it's going nowhere. But here's the thing, I don't do it for the views. It's such a bigger purpose for what I'm doing. I'm doing it for the person that can get some value from what I'm doing. Right? I'm doing it for the people that are be like, man, I can relate to this guy, whether black, white, Hispanic, um, Asian or whatever, right? Um, I do it to document the journey so people can see exactly what's going on. I do it so my family that's not even born yet will be able to look back at me and say and watch that journey, good, bad, and indifferent. And that's why I continue to put the realest content that I can put. Less cuts, just raw me. You get to know me. I'm giving the world me 100%. And every single day does not equal that I feel good because I don't feel good about failing on YouTube. If you want to call it failing on YouTube, I don't believe so. Because like I said, I'm using YouTube for something completely different. It's documenting my journey every single day.
and we don't know where it will go. So, with that said, even on a bad day, I showed up. And I'll continue to show up. But remember, it's all about perspective. However, you you can look at things a certain way and <laughs> your perspective can be good or your perspective can be bad. And that's a choice that you have to make. So, peace. That's like, yo, um, listen, I'm about, you know what I mean? Like, I want to take my business to the next level. And this is how it's gonna, this is how it's gonna have to be done. And that's, you know what I mean? And that's, that's, that's what I'm doing. That's what I, that's, that's exactly what I'm doing. If I'm you, bro, like you are, like the thing is you already have, you, you know what I mean? Like you already have a good base of where you know what I mean like where you at and what you you know what I mean what you can do and shit like that you feel what I'm saying so it's like one of them things where it's kind of like you you it's all, like you have to figure out within yourself what you're willing to to do outside of your comfort zone to get where you believe that you can go if that makes sense right you know what I'm saying like you believe that you can do this. You can reach a million dollars, two million dollars. But what strenuous situation are you going to put yourself through in order to get to that place? Like what leap of faith are you going to put yourself through in order to get to that place? You, you know what I'm saying? And that's why that like I'm, I'm not saying anything is wrong with Atlanta, but you you ask what I would do. What I would do is I would remove myself from that comfort zone that I've been in for 15 years. That's what that's the first thing that I would do. I would say, you know what? If I'm going to do this, I need to put myself in a completely different environment with the knowledge and everything that I know and the skill set that I have, and I would go and I would go get customers. And I would say, y'all gonna build this. Cause you don't have shit, what else, you know what I mean? You don't have shit shit else right now that even hold you to that to, to that place. That would be the that that would be what I would I would like, you know what I'm saying? Not that I I, I hate Atlanta, it's not, nothing about that. It would just be like, yo, I need to put myself through you know what I mean? Like yo, like when I work out, when I when I when I go shoot in the morning time or whatever, I do that shit during the hottest time. Because I'm putting I'm trying to put myself through something. When I do shit bro, like I just, I'll be trying to put like I know it just be like like it just be seeming like something, but I've been really trying to put myself, I've been testing myself to see how much I can push myself. You understand what I'm saying? But but you know, but the thing is, bro, I like literally like I think it's 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 such it's such small things that you possibly can do that can turn shit all the way around. You understand what I'm saying? Like it's 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 it's, it's so many small it's like it's small things that you get that that you that you could do. That you, you know what I mean? It's, like I said, like, like, for, like, bro, I would, like, I would go get customers, bro. I, that's that's what I would do. I like, I literally would go, like, that's why I, I can't wait till like my the app is because I like that's all I was doing, like, just talking to customers, talking to customers. You know what I mean? They like, yo, I want it. How can I, how can I get it? And I'm like, yo, damn, I don't have the app. You understand what I'm saying? Like, so like that's kind of you know I I got a like I I, got, I have a debt that's made for selling. You know what I'm saying? Like. With all of the reasons why, you know what I'm saying? Like it's it's, it's, it's a sales deck. You, you understand what I'm saying? And like I would just talk to customers. So that's that's kind of like why I'm on that that wave or whatever. Was like, yo, you like go get customers. 
and so, you know what I mean, and solve their problem because obviously everybody has some type of marketing issue with so with social media. You understand what I'm saying? It, it, it's just it's so prevalent. It's so prevalent. Now, how do you, you know what I mean? Like, how do you identify those people, and how do you solve? How do you solve? The, how do you solve those problems? And if you do that, everything you ever fucking thought of getting, you will get. <laughs> like for real.